friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. It is massive, massive grocery haul day. I did my monthly Costco stock up and then I went to Fred Meyer, which is my local Kroger store and found some really exciting new food finds at both stores so I'm excited to share those with you. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not as I would love, love, love to have you here. We do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five days a week. So subscribe, ring your bell so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things as well as my Facebook group, head on over, join us there, are all down in that description box. We have lots of groceries to go over, my meal plan for the week and what you'll be seeing for meal prep, so let's jump in. So here's my massive grocery haul for the week. I ended up going to Costco to do my monthly grocery shopping and then I did my own in-person grocery shopping at my local Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. And that was really nice to get back into the actual grocery store myself and pick out my own food. And it was good for me to get up and walk around, get some steps in. So I have quite a large grocery haul for you. Lots of new food finds. So let's jump in. So not shown is a case of Coors Light and a 30 pack of Diet Coke for Troy from Costco. And while I was there, I went ahead and picked up some more toilet paper. They had this Ziploc combo pack on sale. This is kind of how I prefer to buy my Ziploc bags anyways, because you get the gallon, the quart, the snack, and the sandwich. And it was on sale for $12.99. It's 347 bags, which I thought was a great deal. Some more dishwasher detergent, because we are about halfway through ours, which won't last us until our next Costco trip. And because we're on septic, we have to use a gel or liquid dishwasher detergent. And this one from Cascade works really, really well. And then Troy was almost out of his bar soap for his shower. Can't beat the price at Costco. 16 bars for $16. It's about a dollar a bar. And then I did go ahead and grab some omega-3 Wilcox eggs. We are about out of our happy egg. And these ones are really good quality from Costco. I was ready for a new one. And this one is so pretty. It's black. It's high capacity, waterproof, easy clean touch sensor buttons, a hold feature that locks in the weight, which is great. And then you can weigh multiple ingredients with the tar mode. And it has all the different measurements from fluid ounces, ounces, grams, milliliters. It was $17.99, which I thought was a great deal. So I picked that up. Some feta cheese. This is one of my favorite cheeses. And I do have a recipe coming out this week that calls for feta. And I thought this would definitely be something we'll use up on salads. And feta in meatballs is absolutely delicious as well. They were out of the one-third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese or any one-third less fat cream cheese at Fred Meyer. So I just grabbed the regular. This is a for a recipe. New food find for me or something I've never purchased before are these Parmesan Folio cheese wraps from Costco. They have 13 grams of protein, only one gram of carb. They are lactose-free, gluten-free. I can't have tortilla, so I thought that this would be a great way to eat a wrap. You could put lunch meat in here, chicken salad, tuna salad. I just thought that would be a great way to get in some extra protein and still feel like you're having a wrap. They are 180 calories a piece. I'm actually really excited to try these. A couple of boxes of sugar-free Jello. I did vanilla and pistachio. They were really picked over and this were really my only options. I am making a protein pudding in my meal prep. I'm really excited to share the recipe with you guys. I've been making it for the last week or so and it is so good. So I grabbed a couple more packs of sugar-free Jello pudding. I love Amy's soups and I've really been trying to up my fiber. And so I got the lentil soup. I thought this would be really, really good for a lunch. It's 180 calories per serving or 300 for the entire can. Nice, clean, organic ingredients. I only grabbed one can just to make sure that I like it, but they're on sale right now. So if I do, I may go back and grab some more. I needed some more vegetable broth for a recipe. So I grabbed the organic from the brand Imagine. This was on sale and this is such a good quality broth. You can tell the difference because it's nicely colored instead of more clear. So the better quality the broth is, the more color it will be so I grabbed the vegetable and then you guys know I've really been liking having bone broth I do have the chicken bone broth packets but I went ahead and grabbed the beef bone broth in the simple truth organic this has just been a great way for me to sip on something warm and give me some extra protein big two pack of Listerine mouthwash this is 
my favorite, so I always pick it up at Costco. I also picked up two cans of Rosarita non-fat traditional refried beans. Again, upping that fiber intake. This is a great source of fiber and protein. I love to put a little bit of cheese, salsa, and sour cream, and it's such a good meal. You could also put the beans in one of these cheese wraps and that would be so good. So I picked up actually two cans. A can of original Rotel. This is for one of my dinner recipes this next week. One thing I love about my Fred Meyer store, Kroger stores in general, is their bulk section. I needed two tablespoons of pine nuts for a recipe and they're so incredibly expensive that I just went to the bulk section loaded up a couple tablespoons and it was pennies compared to buying a big package that I may or may not use the rest of. I'm also not supposed to be really having kombucha right now. A couple of you have reached out and asked me why I haven't been drinking it. It's just because of the sugar content that is naturally sugar from the fermentation process, but my doctor doesn't recommend kombucha right now. So she did suggest a liquid probiotic and I found this in the cold section in the vitamin section of Fred Meyer. This is the Inner Eco You Got This. And I went ahead and grabbed the blueberry blackberry flavor. It's one tablespoon for five calories and it gives you all of your needed probiotics for the day. So I thought that I would have this along with my personalized probiotic from Thrive and that would really help regulate my gut a little bit better and of course take the place of the kombucha that I was drinking. This was a little bit expensive, I think about $18, but there's 30 servings in there. So 30 days worth. You only need a tablespoon per serving. Some low fat mozzarella cheese and then some Parmesan cheese. This is for my lunches as well as some dinner recipes. Also at Costco, I picked up these Skechers Go Walk workout pants. These are a really nice high-waisted workout pant. I if you didn't know, I'm going to San Diego in March to do a fun run. So I thought that these new pants would come in really handy and they're only $10, which I thought was a great deal. I did get a size large in these. They have quite a bit of compression, which is really nice as well. So if you're in the market for some new workout pants, 10 bucks at Costco. You know, I've been on a sugar-free Jello, sugar-free pudding kick, and I saw this and couldn't pass it up. You actually have 24 variety pack. You get eight strawberry Jellos, four lemon lime, four orange, four chocolate puddings and four chocolate vanilla puddings and it was less than nine dollars so I thought that was a fantastic deal both Troy and I eat the sugar-free jello he doesn't eat the pudding because it's chocolate but I really like to have that as a sweet treat with a little bit of no sugar cool whip so I thought that was a fantastic deal I couldn't pass it up I also picked up the big container of the downy unstoppables this lasts forever and it's $16.99 I believe and it smells incredible I have a recipe this week that calls for lots and lots of ricotta cheese if you didn't know I love ricotta cheese so I picked up the part skim the Kroger brand that was the only option they had I'm really excited to try this recipe out I'll definitely let you guys know how it is a can of low sodium beef broth this is for a dinner recipe a can of a jar of pesto I have a really yummy recipe that I'll be sharing with you guys in a what upcoming video like I mentioned I wanted to share a lot more recipes with you guys this year so I have a really good one that I'll be making this week that calls for pesto I did go ahead and pick this one up because it's only 230 calories per serving which was the lowest calorie pesto I could find I also picked up another box of Gatorade zero with protein I got the last box at Costco I really hope they're not phasing this out I really like this it tastes really good and it gives you 10 grams of protein here's a new food find for you this is the Kevin's keto cauliflower cheddar soup now I picked this up not because it's keto because I don't do keto but because it is lower in carb and you guys know I've been watching my carbs this sounds amazing it has bacon in there you just heat it and serve it and I thought that on a cold day a quick easy lunch or dinner and it was really affordable it was about eight dollars for two separate containers of the soup so I'm really excited to try this I'll try to remember to have it in what I eat in a day so I can let you guys know what I think and then I've seen these so many times and have never picked them up this is from the brand reds these are the egg witch turkey sausage breakfast sandwiches so instead of having bread the bun in parentheses is made out of eggs it has cheese and turkey sausage I thought this would be a great lower carb quick easy breakfast option lunch option it could even be a great option for a snack so I went ahead and grabbed those some more of the dog delights for my dogs I bought these last time these are the chicken sticks they love these and then I actually also picked them up these hide free chicken recipe chews so it says truly 100% raw hide chew easy digestible these are 10 count large chews I'm gonna have Troy cut these up with his sawzall into three different pieces so one chew will be good for all three dogs these are huge and my dogs don't need that much but I thought this would be a nice change of pace they're easily digestible and no rawhide I also grabbed some iodized salt per my doctor's recommendation because it does have iodine in it and I do not want to become iodine deficient obviously so I 
picked that up. Stone ground mustard sounded so good. And I thought this would be a great accompaniment to those cheese wraps with some lunch meat and cheese in there. And I love stone ground mustard so much and I haven't had it in so long. So I saw it and of course I had to grab it. I can't believe it's not butter spray. Troy really likes having this to put on his vegetables. A glass milk jar, it has a nice white plastic lid. It was glass, it's $3.99. I picked this up at Fred Meyer because I bought a big thing of downy fabric softener from Costco and the container is too big to fit in my cupboard above my washer those white cupboards right there. So I decided to go ahead and grab this jar. I can pour it into here and then use this to add it to my wash. Some baby spinach for my breakfast meal prep. And you guys know I like to add these to my eggs, smoothies, salads. And then I also grabbed these organic girl protein greens. Look how much they were, 99 cents. I thought that would be a nice addition again to eggs, protein shakes, smoothies, and mix it in with the spinach to make just kind of a fun salad. A green bell pepper for a dinner recipe, zucchini for my meal prep a red onion for a recipe, fresh parsley and asparagus, both for a dinner recipe. So that is everything that I picked up for this week's massive, massive grocery haul. Really excited about my new food finds. Got some stuff for the dogs, some new workout pants, very excited. So let's go ahead and jump into what I'm doing for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my meal plan for the week. These are my dinners. Monday, I'm making steak and potato cheddar mash. This just sounds so incredibly delicious. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing tuna avocado salad and we're just going to put this on lettuce wraps or if Troy wants it in sandwich, in bread, he can do that. Thursday is leftovers. Friday, I'm making grilled chicken and asparagus pesto pasta. I will be filming this recipe to share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. Saturday's out to eat and Sunday, I'm making creamy taco soup, which you guys will see in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. For meal prep this week, for breakfast, I'm making veggie egg cups. I'm actually really excited for these. I have a new little kitchen gadget that I'm going to try out, so stay tuned for that on Monday. Lunch is going to be herb chicken salad with parsley, which also sounds amazing. And then I'm making my protein pudding I mentioned in my grocery haul. I've been obsessed with this. It's super easy, incredibly delicious. Can't wait to share that lunch and breakfast with you in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing my massive, massive stock up haul. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you join my community. Ring your bell so you never miss a single video. Don't forget the description box where you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook if you haven't already. That's the best way to keep up with me, that and Instagram on a more day-to-day -day basis. Have Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.